It's time to take a look at a Canadian made mattress. The Emma original here claims to be very supportive and very pressure relieving. Well, I'll be the judge of that. I'm Lauren, editor and certified sleep science coach here at Mattress Nerd. I tested and reviewed hundreds of mattresses and we are here in the Nerd Lab to run this bed through a series of geeky tests. I'm gonna give you my thoughts, we're gonna go in depth on performance and I will give you my pro con list. But if you don't have time for all of that, we do have these timestamps down below to help you find anything that you're looking for. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get started. First up, I did want to let you guys know that Emma sent us this bed for free to test and review and we may earn a commission if you guys decide to get one for yourself. That being said, we are still unbiased. I'm here to give you the facts and that's still what I plan to do. So Emma is a Canadian based sleep company, but they still ship free to the US. It'll arrive at your door in a box and you'll have a full year to try it out, see if you like it. If you don't, you can return it for a full refund, but if you do, you get a 10 year warranty. Now, if you wanna know more about Emma's policies in depth, you can check out our written review in the description. But if you came here for the details, let's get into those. I unzip the cover and cut into the fire barrier of this bed to get a good look at the layers and see how they perform. But you don't wanna try this at home because it will void your warranty or start a fire. So let's start with the cover. This is really breathable and moisture wicking and it's also removable and machine washable, which is really good if you have allergies. Now let's get into the meat of the bed. Right here we have something called air cell foam, which is supposed to be more breathable than regular memory foam so your body heat has somewhere to go. And then here we have a zoned layer of memory foam, meaning it's softer at the head and feet but firmer in the middle so your body stays perfectly aligned. And lastly, we have our support layer with even more breathable channels. This is also supposed to help keep your bed from sagging prematurely. At Mattress Nerd, we like to rate firmness on a scale of one to 10, where one is softer than a bowl of Canadian maple syrup. And the Emma Original is a 6.5 out of 10 on this scale, making it medium firm, which is best for back and stomach sleepers. But we also wanna see how well this bed responds to your movements using this lacrosse ball. So as I bounce it on the floor, you see it comes right back up to me. Now let's try this on the mattress surface. So as I do this, I'm getting more bounce than I would expect from a foam mattress. So if you're a combo sleeper who loves the feeling of foam, this is a great option for you. Now, if you take nothing else away from this mattress review, know that a bed's gonna perform differently based on your sleep position and body type. So these two factors are crucial. So I'm gonna go over how the Emma works for side, back, and stomach sleepers, starting with side sleepers. Now, you guys need a mattress that keeps the spine in a straight line and keeps pressure off of the hips and the shoulders. Now, this bed claims to be very pressure relieving. Unfortunately, our pressure maps didn't agree now, average to heavyweight sleepers saw a little bit of pressure in their joints, but really lightweight sleepers saw the highest concentration of pressure in the hips and the shoulders, so that's something to be aware of. Now, on to back sleepers. You need a mattress that maintains the natural S-curve of your spine, and this bed and its foams does a really great job at keeping you aligned on the Emma mattress for all back sleepers. Now, on to stomach sleepers, like me. We just need a bed that's firm enough to keep the hips elevated and spine aligned. Now this bed is firm enough for light to average weight stomach sleepers, but heavier stomach sleepers are gonna want a more supportive bed, like a hybrid, or um, I suggest the Emma Climax. If you sleep with a partner, pet, or child and their movements often wake you up, that is what we are testing for, motion isolation, AKA a bed's ability to stop motion at the source and keep it from transferring across the mattress and waking up your partner. So here's the test. I placed a beaker of liquid on that side of the bed. The movement in that beaker will signify how much movement you feel as I disturb the bed over here. So as I press my hands into the mattress, mimicking the feel of tossing and turning, there's barely any movement, but we're gonna test this further with a weighted ball. I'm gonna drop it in and out of bed to simulate someone getting in and out of bed. And as I do this, not too much more movement. This bed is really good at motion isolation, which shouldn't be surprising because it is an all foam mattress. 
Now I'm gonna test edge support. And edge support refers to the level of support you're gonna get around the perimeter of your mattress. It's really good for people with mobility issues who need the edges to get in and out of bed, couples who want some space from each other, and of course, edge of the bed sleepers. Now this bed has pretty great edge support. All foam mattresses usually don't, so this one is really solid, so I would give it a four out of five. Now that we went over all the performance factors, let's see how much this mattress costs. Now I've tested and reviewed hundreds of queen size mattresses and we usually find that the price range is between $500 to $3,500. Now this bed falls right around $1,500 for a queen, which is pretty pricey for a foam mattress, but prices and sales are always changing, so check the link in the description for the most up-to-date pricing. All right, folks, we are almost at the end, but here I have that pro-con list. I made a list of the three best and worst things about the Emma Original. I like to start out with the bad news, so let's get into the cons. First up, Lighter weight side sleepers are not going to find the pressure relief that they need out of this mattress. But the nerds and I made a list of our favorite side sleeping mattresses that I will link in the description below. Next up, this all foam bed may not offer enough breathability for hot sleepers, same deal here. The nerds and I made a list of our favorite cooling mattresses that I will link below as well. And our last bit of bad news, this bed can be pretty pricey. So again, we have our favorite affordable mattresses in the description below if you wanna check them out. But there is some good news, so let's get into that. First up, couples are really gonna enjoy this mattress. It's responsive enough for sex, but it isolates motion well enough for sound sleep, which is a great combination for couples. Next up, back sleepers should love the Emma mattress. Those foams really hug the spine. And finally, combination sleepers should have a very easy time moving around on this bed. So bottom line, is the Emma Original good at pressure relief? Kinda. It's really good for back sleepers and most stomach sleepers, but I would recommend that side sleepers pass on this mattress. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below, and while you're at it, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel. It always helps. And for more content like this, visit mattressnerd.com or follow us on Insta and TikTok. Thanks for watching. Bye. Now let's look. <laughs> I didn't know what I was gonna say after that. Is the bed's gonna perform a bit differently on social? Follow us on social. I meant to say on Insta.